again, they're asking you to find the zeros and then to, once you find the zeros, then to graph it. Well, again, easiest thing to do is replace our y with 0. Now I have a factored form set equal to 0. So what I can do is just apply the zero product property. x minus 1 equals 0, x plus 1 equals 0, and x minus 3 equals 0. Right? And then we could solve, and we know our solutions are going to be x equals 1, x equals negative 1, x equals 3. So the solution set is 1, negative 1, and 3. Right? But they're not asking you for what just are the zeros or the solutions. They're saying to graph this. So we need to, again, make the understanding, OK, all the zeros and solutions, all the real zeros and solutions are x-intercepts. So I go and graph this. I have 1, negative 1, and 3. 1, 2, 3. 4. What, that, that number was 4? Oh, 1, 2, 3. Yes, thank you. OK. Does everybody follow me with that? Now, to understand how the behavior is, we look at the multiplicity. Again, the multiplicity is the power of your linear factors. Well, if you guys look, these are all linear factors. Do you guys see the power of all those x's is 1. So those are your linear factors. Then you look at the power of each factor. The power of each factor is 1, which is odd. So therefore, if the power is odd, that means the graph um, is going to cross at each of those zeros. When the multiplicity is odd, the graph crosses at those zeros. Okay, now, what is the m behavior? What is that leading term? Could you do we have enough? Do you guys know how to multiply this out? Yes. Could you multiply this out using FOIL and distributive property? Yes, but it's a way, it's <coughs> way too much effort and time to do that to figure out the m behavior. The only thing you guys need to know about m behavior is what is that first term? Do you guys agree? It does not matter what any other term is in m behavior. Does everybody agree with me? The only thing we care about in behavior is the highest power, which is the degree and the leading coefficient. So if you were to multiply this all out, what is going to give you the highest power? Well, x minus 1 times x plus 1. When you do the x times x, that gives you x squared, correct? And then if you're going to do an x squared times something with an x, the highest power you're going to get is x cubed, right? And that leading term, though all the leading coefficients are 1. So 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1. So again, we have a m behavior that has an odd degree and a positive leading coefficient. That means the graph falls left, rises right, just like the last example. Now can I connect them? Well, now to go from here to here, I somehow got to connect my graph, right? Because it has to cross here. So I'll do a little loop. And then it goes through here. Then I need to go back over there. So it's going to do another loop. And then you connect. Yes, no, maybe, so. All right, I'm going to give you guys an example because I feel some students need a little bit.